the Commerce Achiever platform. Through this platform, we are going to cover all the subjects related to commerce and management in detail with time to time and we'll give you all the courses relating to it. So to get the expertise knowledge, subscribe our channel Commerce Achiever and click the bell icon so that you get the not latest notifications as and when we upload the videos for you. Through this video, we are going to understand uh, one of the exception of previous year and assessment year and uh, that is business or profession which is newly set up. Business or profession which is the newly set up during any financial year, during a financial year. Okay? So before going ahead for understanding of this first exception, there are three exceptions. Uh, we deal separate exception in separate different videos and let's first recall the previous year and assessment year a quick recall okay previous year is the year in which income is earned income in which year in which income is earned and assessment year is the year following to the or succeeding to the previous year suppose in case of an example and SSC Mr. X kindly go to the definition of SSC covered in separate video and for SSC to understand the different meaning of people we already covered in two separate videos must go through these two videos okay so Mr. X Mr. X is an individual who started his business who started his business say on 31st October 2019 so the previous will be an earned income okay an earned income thereon okay so the previous will be the year in which income is earned that is 2019-20 will be the previous year and following to the previous year is or succeeding to the previous year is 2020-2021 is the assessment year here the income is earned and here the income is taxable with this is the general rule and now we are going the exception and the first exception we are dealing is when there is a newly set up business or profession okay so what will be the case in case of a newly set up business or profession the previous year shall be the word used shall in the income tax act shall means it's a mandatory be the period shall be the period beginning or starting or commencing beginning on date beginning on date of setting up of business setting up of business or profession okay when it starts okay and when it's ending and ending with 31st March of said that is the same said financial year okay what will happen in case of a source of income what will be done in case of a source of income so when the source of income come in comes into an existence Suppose in a set financial year, the previous year will be commence ka boga. When it will commence will date. Okay? From the date on which source of income newly comes. Okay. It's not an old or received or previous debt. No, it's a new, newly set up. Okay, newly comes. It's used in the act. Newly comes into existence and will end. When it will be end? On 31st March of financial year. Okay, so this exception is 
for newly set up in of business and profession previous year shall be repeated beginning on the date of setting up of business or profession ending on the 31st march of said financial year okay and in case of a source of income new source of income is any source of income new source of income is arising suppose you started a new alternative business okay so your source of income arises in suppose on a specific date okay so it will be commence on the date on which you receive such source of income and came into an existence and end with the 31st march of the financial year let's see a quick one example suppose uh, mr x an individual okay uh, receives new source of income he started a new so business and new source of income uh, will uh, commence on say 26th of october 2019 okay then what will be the previous year in this case it will start from the date it start from the date that is 26th october 2019 to 31st march 2020 will be the previous year it start from the date when the new source of income is comes into take place okay i hope the concept is clear Uh, this is the first exception. The other two exception we will deal in a two separate videos. In case of any doubt, feel free to ask in a comment section. You also can join us on a Telegram, and you can visit on our F Facebook page also. And group uh, there is also another group where the discussion is going on. You can reach us there also. And uh, for the students asking for the soft copy of the notes, they can visit to the website. and in case of an hard copy you just contact us and grab the book okay so uh, one more thing uh, amount spending on an education is an investment never think you are spending uh, amount on uh, education or in learning is an expense because when you think it's an expense you do not uh, give your soul to the learning just try to give soul to the learning and take it as an asset it always education is always with you forever okay and even you can share with the different people and it's keep on growing it never decrease or constant it keeps on growing so it's an asset so keep learning stay connected with us subscribe our channel click the bell icon to get the latest video jai hind jai bharat